What's up guys, my name is Dean, aka The Blue Crusader, and welcome back to the channel. World of Warcraft is the biggest MMORPG of all time. Either you play it, or you've played it once upon a time. One of the things which makes WoW so great is how many things you can collect, from battle pets, class pets, cool items, and more specifically, epic mounts you can ride on. In today's top 10 video, we'll be taking a look into the top 10 secret mounts in World of Warcraft that you probably don't know about. These mounts are strange and super cool, and after watching this video, you'll be guaranteed to wish that you had some of them. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Number 10, Blue Skeletal Horse. This mount comes in at the number 10 spot mainly because of its origin. The model of this horse is nothing unique, although it's on this list mainly due to it being unobtainable. The mount was replaced initially with a blue skeletal horse, a 60% mount variation. However, this mount, when previewing it in 3D, the model looks exactly the same as Rivendare's Death Charger, a rare mount dropped from the dungeon Stratome from Baron Rivendare. Perhaps this is why this mount was removed, due to its model being shared and used for this mount drop. What's interesting about Rivendare's Death Charger is how it can be used cross-faction between Horde and Alliance, making it the only skeletal horse that can do this. Number 9, Kodo Mount. Kodos are the racial mounts of the Taurans in Warcraft, great four-legged lizard-like creatures native to Mulgore. Kodos are in abundance and can be obtained in the game, however, this brown and cream coloured mount is simply called Kodo Mount, and it's an item data mined from live servers by Warcraft players. Like with the skeletal horse before it, this mount is near to the end of the list due to it not being too impressive simply because Kodos are so easily obtained in game, hence the name was most likely some form of test item created by Blizzard when experimenting as it was added back in patch 1.12.1. A pattern we're going to see quite a lot on this list. The mount requires level 20 and the description on the item says, The Kodo is the backbone of our people. Where the Horde goes in trade, settlement, there you will find the mighty Kodo. Harb Claw Hoof. Legacy. This information does seem to contradict this notion however as Harb Claw Hoof is the Kodo mount vendor in Mulgore and this description seems to be intended to fit into law. Number 8, the Fluorescent Green Meccano Strider. Meccano Striders for the uninitiated are the robotic bird imitating mounts that players who play as gnomes are granted. However, although there are countless renditions and styles to these mounts, there is but one that players cannot obtain in any way. Blizzard have made a lot of test mounts and items in the past, most of which are featured in this video and a lot of them happen to be recolors of pre-existing mounts. That's exactly what the fluorescent green Meccano Strider is. For some reason or another, Blizzard never added this to the game for players to access, but one player actually managed to obtain this out of simply just a stroke of luck. When a known player called Narsh on the EU server Frostmane accidentally deleted his Meccano Strider mount, he contacted Blizzard GMs or Game Masters for help. When replacing his mount out of a seeming error, the GM in question granted this player this unobtainable variation of his original mount. The only way to see the mount was on the EU Armory website. Surprisingly though, you'd think Blizzard would correct the mistake. They certainly would nowadays, although back then they accepted the mistake and actually let the player keep this mount, making him the only player in the whole of World of Warcraft to own it. Although unconfirmed, it seems that sometime during patch 6.2, around the WAD expansion, the mount was removed from the player's account. Something that people claim was the result of him attempting to sell his account for a profit based on this item. Whether it was true or false, unfortunately now, nobody owns this mount. Either out of Blizzard correcting their initial mistake or from the player's error. It's safe to say this is one of the rarest mounts in the game. Number 7, the Night Saber. This mount is currently obtainable. Added back in patch 1.11, the Night Saber, which is obtained from the item Reigns of the Night Saber, is one of the original Night Elf epic mounts in the game. It was actually readily obtainable from players, and thus, there are some players that still own it. The reason you cannot obtain this mount anymore though, is because Blizzard eventually upgraded the graphics and styles for many of the old mounts giving players at the time a choice to upgrade or keep their old ones. 
although no longer obtainable, this mount is super awesome because it has the appearance of a black panther, making anyone who rides it look amazing. These creatures are subject to myth and legend, and having one as a mount in World of Warcraft is nothing short of awesome. Number 6, Sabercats. Coming in variations labelled Golden and Tawny, these Sabercat mounts look awesome. It's not clear why they were never obtainable in game, as with the majority of these items, but just like most of the old items we can't get our hands on, these mounts were added back in patch 1.12. It's not told how we could have obtained these two mounts, for an example, the Night Elves have the Night Saber mounts, which are saber toothed cats native to the different areas of Kalimdor. But these mounts perfectly mirror the variations of cats that are found around the Barrens in Kalimdor, the zone next to Dorotar. The icon used is the ability underscore mount jungle tiger image, which is used for a lot of the other unobtainable tigers in the game that you'll see in this list. The mounts both only actually require level 20 to ride on along with apprentice riding and sell to vendors for a low ball price of 25 silver each. Although before I made a judgement on them looking more like the cats native to the barons, it would seem the item actually is only usable by alliance racers however, and not horde, so perhaps this could imply that the night elves could have sold these mounts to their faction mount vendors, although there's no confirmation on this. Number 5, Leopards. Similar in fashion to the saber cat mounts previously aforementioned, the leopard mounts in Warcraft are the leopard and the primal leopard. They make use of the same cat model the Saber Cats and Night Sabers use, and were both added in the same patch as most of these other mounts, patch 1.12.1, aka around release. I'm sure you can sense a pattern here. Now, both of these mounts, despite the names, actually look exactly the same, but remember back in Classic WoW, you had common mounts and epic mounts. All mounts did not adapt in speed based on level and riding training like they do now, Epic mounts were faster than standard mounts, and this is probably the reason and the case for why both of these mounts look exactly the same in appearance, but not so much in stats. What's strange is you would expect the Primal Leopard to be a higher level mount, as it has a fancy name of sorts, but that actually only requires level 20 in Apprentice Riding, whereas the Reigns of the Leopard mount requires level 30. That's not the end of the story, because after looking deeper into both mounts, it would seem that the Primal Leopard is only available to be used by Alliance characters, and the item looks to be more finished than its counterpart. The standard Leopard mount has a white item quality and is also available to Alliance, but it doesn't list all Alliance races, it states that humans, orcs, dwarves, night elves, undead, gnomes and trolls can use it. So the standard Leopard seems to be a cross-faction mount. Although some may think they're just standard cat mounts, they look pretty cool and get. Number 4, the Swift Dawn Saber. This mount will surprise a lot of people when they discover its origin. Blood Elves nowadays are known by each and every single player to ride Hawkstriders. When you reach level 20 and acquire your first mount, you buy a Hawkstrider, the birds with attractive feathers. Sometime after the release of WoW, sometime around or during WoW Classic I guess, it seemed that Blizzard was initially intending to go a different direction. They actually wanted to make the Swift Dawnsaber mount as the Blood Elf mount, which would have been surely interesting and a mirror to the Night Elves as they're both different elven species and the standard Dawnsabers in the game can only be obtained by the Alliance. The Reigns of the Swift Dawnsaber is an epic mount, but although many sources confirmed its origins as intended for Blood Elves, it's presumed that after changing their minds, Blizzard must have changed it into an alliance only mount that requires journeyman riding and level 40, because the current one says that it's alliance only. The mount is an armoured brown cat with amazing red pearls and gems on its armour with red eyes. Even with the release of modern mounts, this one's still a stunner. Number 3, Peep's Whistle. Peep's Whistle is one of the very few and one of the only legendary mounts in the game but not one that you can actually get. The reason this mount is on this list and pretty high up is mainly because of it being legendary, but also secret. In fact, this mount is a GM only item. It was added back in patch 2.3.0, which is during the first Warcraft expansion, The Burning Crusade. The description states, summons and dismisses a rideable phoenix. But if you haven't realized already, 
basically this mount is a mirror copy of the epic flying mount, the Ashes of Alar, which was dropped from Kelthar Sunstrider in Tempest Keep, one of the raids in Outland. Peep's whistle supposedly summons the Outland Phoenix, who has the name Peep, as he's referred to Peep the Outland Phoenix, and has a maximum flight speed of 310%. The item has the description, Welcome to Alex Country, Buckle Up, which is a reference to Blizzard Quest designer Alex Afrasiabi. The mount wasn't an experimental version of the Ashes of Allah, however, since that mount was added before, back in patch 2.1.1, a while before this legendary mount was even added to the game. Number 2, the Bengal Tiger. This mount takes number 2 on this list, not only because it looks absolutely awesome, but because it has a rich history behind it and is subject to a lot of myths and stories from within the Warcraft community. The old school YouTube site was a place full of myths and legends and videos promising of obtaining or seeing things you never expected to see or even couldn't see, some were just purely lies. Take for example the old GTA San Andreas UFO videos, usually packaged with the X-Files theme to it. But one of the biggest of these stories was the tale of the Bengal Tiger. The Bengal Tiger is very similar to the Swift Zulian Tiger, a mount that was actually available in the game, practically similar but an armoured variation that was eventually removed. The tale of the Bengal Tiger began in Stranglethorn Vale, close to Zulgurub in the mountains. There lied a small cave. Countless YouTube videos and whispers from the community told of a secret vendor that would only appear during specific hours in the game, allegedly with a one month spawn timer. Back in the days before flying in WoW, during the height of this myth, reaching this cave was a skillful feat, and hard for so many and thus why it had not been discovered for a long time due to it being so inaccessible. Surrounded by an empty atmosphere, the cave is lit up from the inside with a red light. The item itself, although denied by Blizzard and the community naysayers, can actually be found in the game database and is a real item that requires level 30 and it's rideable by humans, orcs, dwarves, night elves, undead, gnomes and trolls. Notice that taurins are nowhere to be found, perhaps showing how old this lost piece of alpha nostalgia really is. What further fueled the rumour of the vendor or trainer is that the mount, just like the leopards mentioned before, actually required their own unique riding skill known as tiger riding. The spawn timer is inconclusive and there are overlapping stories disproving this as they promised of different spawn timers for the apparent mount vendor, even with GMs confirming the item's existence and repeating such stories. However, although the mounts have been data mined and found to actually exist, the vendor has never been found or even discovered, and most likely disproves their existence. There is actually a quest in current WoW though that allows the player to seek out the exact same cave during a quest to obtain their own panther cub, which seems to be a nod or reference to the legend. Number 1. Black Warp Stalker This mount takes top of the list for good reason. This mount is one of the most unique ones on this list as there is simply nothing of the same calibre that is even obtainable in current WoW. The mount is learned through the item PH, whatever that seems to signify, followed by Reigns of the Black Warp Stalker, and requires level 60 with 150 riding. It seemed this would have been added far back in Classic 2. But that's where we'd be wrong. This mount was actually added on Cataclysm's launch as it's available to Worgen, added in Catra as well. Also has access to humans, dwarves, night elves, gnomes and draenei, basically all alliance types at that time. Warp stalkers can be commonly found in the game in the Badlands, Outland and the old Draenor in the WOD expansion and the mobs with the same model of this mount all reside in these places. This mount is one of the most unique, secret or hidden mounts that nobody can obtain by any means, and it's uncertain whether Blizzard will add a Warp Stalker mount in the future. They already closed off Draenor as an expansion in BC, so there'd be little chance for one unless it was a store mount, but this mount is definitely special and one that not many know of or have even heard anything of before. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like. If you have a favourite secret mount in WoW from this video, definitely let me know which one it is in the comment section below and why. If you want to see more top 10 videos like this and daily gaming videos for World of Warcraft or other games, subscribe to the channel for more so you don't miss out. And so you can join the giveaway because every single month we give away a free Steam game. 
just make sure to check the description or comments below to see if we currently have one going. Thanks for watching guys and I really do appreciate all the support on the channel and everyone watching these wild videos and I'll see you next time.